So guys, I wanted to shoot this really, really quick video, basically just to kind of give you an idea of what goes on in my head when I'm problem solving in order to get success. Now, success is this big esoteric thing. And a lot of the time people fixate on the micro rather than looking at the macro. So they'll fixate on this little problem or this little tactic that they need when really they should be unplugging from the situation and looking at a bigger context as to their life. So this happened in one of my deep work blocks. I've talked about that in other videos, but I started thinking about the idea of sacrifice and how I can apply that personally in my life. Because if I'm completely honest, at this point in my life, I genuinely think I can be like Tony Robbins, Elon Musk, and Hugh Hefner all at the same time. Like the energy has been driven into all these different channels and that is a problem. You really have to decide what is most important to you in life and be willing to sacrifice all the other shit in order to get those one or two outcomes that you're looking for. And as I said, because I'm really young, like this isn't something that I've really understood or had to tackle as of yet, but now I'm realizing as like, my calendar is just being flooded. There's like opportunities coming in all different directions. There's distractions coming in all different directions. Now that's not what this video is about. What this video is about is the different thought processes that I go through. And I do this on a weekly, if not daily basis. So as I speak about this, I'll cut to like some different angles and whatnot, just so you can see the page that I'm kind of looking at right now. Now this is just some yellow paper where I jotted some notes down. The first thing that I want to tackle is sacrifice. So you want to start if you have a problem, you want to start with clarity. There's a problem and what is the outcome? What is the problem that you want to solve? Get complete clarity with that. So in here I write remove things rather than add them. Success is about removing the things that I don't need, not about learning or adding things to my life. So then I go on to say what things are fucking me up. And this paper is generally just for me, but I'm very, very open. I'm more than happy to share the things that are kind of like fucking me up right now. So this is like a very cool insight into my head and where my life's at right now. So first on that list is partying and in brackets sporadic sleep schedule so you know when i'm going out to clubs or i'm hanging out with really cool girls like i might end up in bed at like four five six seven a.m and that's not very good for me like i don't drink so that helps it but nonetheless it completely throws off your sleep schedule and you definitely feel the effects the next day so that's number one partying number two is actually smoking now i don't smoke on a day-to-day -day basis but like in the past month and a half i've kind of like started social smoking which is very very unlike me and i think i was just having a very like stressful day and i decided fuck it and that was around six weeks ago and something that i've done like once a week since then had three four cigarettes over dinner with a friend not good there's no benefit to this at all so that's one of the things that's currently like fucking me up number three my phone usage so i get the loss of deep work and then i also get fomo which is fear of missing out so obviously with social media like i will be in deep work blocks then I'll check my phone in between in my breaks and I'll see my friends going out, having fun, doing all this fun and crazy shit and I get this FOMO. Also part of that is I've just got people hitting me up like trying to fill up my calendar and trust me, you wanna keep your calendar as empty as possible to get real work done. So checking my phone gives me more reason to say yes to these people. If they're my friends to say yes and meet up, if they're acquaintances or other people or business people to send them my scheduler so they can book an appointment or, or a meeting with me. The less I do that, the better. Number four is nutrition. So I eat very healthy usually, but then once a week maybe I will just eat like dog shit and I feel the effects for probably 24 hours after that. And that's another thing that's fucking me up. Last thing is coffee, dinner, lunch with people who are of no use to me. I, I don't mean that in a bad way. I just mean that as in, I'm trying to build up as much momentum here as possible. If I'm constantly filling up my schedule with old friends, friends, stuff like that, and it's just coffee, dinner, et cetera, et cetera, like, that doesn't leave much time to get real work done. And one thing about me and my friends is like, I can go six weeks comfortably without talking to someone, meet up with them again, and it's just like nothing changed. And that's simply because people understand my schedule, but then you get acquaintances and old friends and like kind of new friends wanting to meet up. And that's amazing. I love to have that downtime, but you just need time to yourself. You need time for real deep work. So those are the list of things that are fucking me up. Then I break it down to two things, which I think are having like the biggest detrimental effect on my momentum and where I'm at right now. And those two come out to my phone usage. So really distracting me from that deep work, having that distraction of people trying to pull me away from my work. And then finally the fear of missing out that. And then below that, I'd say the partying, the sporadic sleep schedule, stuff like that. So then I ask myself, what is the one big domino? Tim Ferriss uses this a lot. If I solve this one problem, the other one will just eradicate anyways. So kind of where I went with that was, you know, if I lower my phone usage, then I'm gonna get less fear of missing out. 
And less fear of missing out is gonna lead to less clubbing, less partying, less seeing people at times that don't really work with my schedule or stop my momentum. But then on the flip side, the less phone usage I have, the increased deep work I have, which means if I get more deep work, more better work done, that actually leaves more time to party, more time to see some of the girls that I'm seeing, more time to see old friends. So for me, that is like the one big domino that kind of has a cascading effect on all the rest of the stuff. So if we flip over to the next page, you got the action steps because if you don't apply this straight away, if you don't make a change or even just a small little something right now, then it's never going to happen. So action steps, I ask myself, when does phone usage occur most? And the answer is whenever the phone is visible, whenever the phone's on the desk, whenever it's around me, I'm inclined to use it. It's like trying to go on a diet, but stuffing your cabinet with like junk food. You're not really doing yourself a favor there. The next question I ask myself is when is it pivotal that I don't use my phone? And I answer with before I finish my morning routine, so that's pretty much like the first 45 minutes of my day. It's pivotal that I do not use my phone. I do not get my brain in that zone where I'm looking at how's the business doing? Are the client relations okay? Did this girl text back? Did my friend hit me back? What's my Instagram looking like? What's my email looking like? How are sales doing? Like all of this stuff, it's just something I don't need first thing in the morning. Then 30 minutes before I go to bed, that's another very, very crucial part in your day. That's when you need to unwind. That's when you need to prepare for the next day. So lastly, how am I going to change this? There's an app called Moment App. So it actually tracks all of your activity. So you can basically figure out this is how much time I'm spending on Instagram, on Facebook, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You can set time limits, stuff like that. And you can even set it so that your phone doesn't even turn on before a certain point. Like it's just locked. Then we've got keeping my phone on another floor when I work. So for example, this is my office. I have my second, third floor. I should be keeping my phone on the second or third floor so that I can't even see it. If I walk into the kitchen to make myself a coffee, it's not even visible to me. And then the last one is airplane mode, just basically whenever I can, because sometimes it's gonna be between work blocks, stuff like that. I'm gonna have my phone on my desk like this and I don't need it going off and stuff like that. I mean, I, I even have my phone on do not disturb like 99% of the time but nonetheless. So that's how I'm gonna go about changing this. So really I thought this would be a cool insight just to kind of give you guys an idea as to what goes on in my head when I'm thinking about the problems that I'm currently facing in my life. Sacrifice was this, how I break it down, how I think of the one big domino, how I think about action steps. Because look, you can know everything to know about digital marketing. You can know everything to know about e-commerce, real estate, whatever it may be. But if you don't have discipline, if you're not willing to sacrifice for it, if you're not willing to put in hard work, None of that shit matters. I can give you as many tactics as you want. My coaches, my mentors can give me as, tact as many tactics as they want. But unless I put in good systems and infrastructure, it really won't mean shit. So that is it for today's video. I'm actually working on my content scheduler for next month. I'm gonna be putting in a lot more time into YouTube. We're gonna be upping into three uploads a week. Actually planned this time, so it's actually gonna be three a week. So let me know what you guys think of this sort of video. Do you want me guys to do more of it? I'm thinking I wanna do more off the cuff videos like even if I have an idea, just front facing camera on my iPhone. Obviously here I have like a little light to the side. I have the tripod, I have my camera set up. I have my microphone. I've actually thought about this stuff, but like I have thoughts constantly. And I'm thinking even if I can just pick up my iPhone front facing camera, there's a lot of people that I can help with that. So let me know what your thoughts are. Can you also leave me with a comment down below as to what video you'd like to see next? And I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you then.